It is early morning in Kissimmee, Florida, and homicide detectives have been grilling Jennifer Soto for over an hour. Should you be charged with murder? Yes. Please. Does your role in her life lead this to happen? I'll be honest. Yes. <laughs> Two days earlier, Jennifer's ex-boyfriend, Stefan Stearns, was arrested for possessing over 1,700 homemade pornographic images of her missing daughter, Madeline. The material was found on a cloud drive linked to his phone. Sheriffs also believe he is responsible for 13-year-old Madeline's murder. Her cause of death? Strangulation. <laughs> Everyone already knows that's not possible. 911, what's the location of your emergency? I'm reporting a missing child. Just days earlier, police received a call from Jennifer herself saying her daughter was missing. But before long, they learned Madeline had been sharing a bed unsupervised with Stearns in her own mother's home for years. That's the day you found out he was a predator. Yeah. But when investigators share graphic evidence with Jen in the hopes that she will turn on Stearns, she unexpectedly calls Stearns' father and tells him to hire Stefan a lawyer. And after you found out he was a predator, did you not say he needed a lawyer? And sheriffs wonder, are they talking to a grieving mother or an accessory in the rape and murder of a 13-year-old child? They showed you a picture of it and you still protect it. So how am I supposed to not think that the thought process in your mind is until she's found, Stefan can't be charged with murder? I knew that that was true, right? That's evidence, that's for real, that's happening. But I kept thinking, no, he didn't kill her. Not that he didn't kill her, but she's still missing, she's still out there, she was taken. I was in shock. No, it's not shock. That is your natural instinct to protect Stefan. It's not the first time detectives witness Jen going into what she calls shock when confronted with the possible truth about Stearns and her daughter. When first shown evidence of Stefan allegedly sexually assaulting Maddie, sex crimes detectives note that Jen didn't recognize anything in the picture as if she was in denial. And then there is this odd statement she gave detectives. I was very vigilant of, for the first few years of how he would interact with her and what he would do, and I would question if anything was weird, but nothing ever was truly weird. I've never seen any signs. I tried watching her like a hawk. I thought I was doing a good job, but I wasn't. I was oblivious to every four years. Minimum. That's just how far back the cloud goes. After two hours of questioning, Jennifer Soto eventually comes around, helping police zero in on the region where Stearns likely left Madeline's body. The teen was found on the side of a road in a remote region of St. Cloud, Florida. Jennifer then admits. I don't care about him. I want him to go to jail. I want the worst thing possible to happen to him in jail. I know what happens to predators in jail. Like, I'm ready for that. Like, please, I don't give a about him. I'm not protecting him. He treated her like... Like he treats you? Detectives have not filed criminal charges against Jen Soto. Stearns faces the death penalty for homicide in a trial slated to begin next month.